shout out to Angry D on YouTube. I don't know if you guys know about him. He's got a moto vlog. This very angry fella is in Texas. So subscribe to his channel. I think he's only got 2,000 subscribers. And I think with the amount of work that the, this guy puts into his videos, you would think that he would have like 200,000. He's constantly in dirt bike maniacs and all of these compilations because this guy, Angry D, is angry. He's always like giving people the finger and sometimes he's in good mood. But uh, yeah, he is an angry guy and very funny. He's like a hilarious rider to listen to. I've been trying to reach out to various YouTube vloggers, moto vloggers just to see if they want to collaborate you know us little youtube moto vloggers i have no idea how some of these people make it like jake the garden snake he's got like four hundred thousand yeah noob started out as a vlogger but now he's become like this whole behemoth big company and i love all of these guys i watch their videos constantly but you know there's no reason why us little youtubers can't get together and have some fun create some videos i don't really support small channels so i'm reaching out to various people if you have a moto channel moto vlogging channel and you want to work on any videos together i'm in the dc area but Man, I'm willing to travel. I'm willing to go to Texas for Angry D. I'm willing to go to Nevada for Vegas Romaniac. Check him out as well. I'll put the links in the description. And also, Lab Coat Paul, I really like his stuff. He's in uh, Salt Lake City, Utah. You know, another interesting thing about riding in the winter, especially for a moto vlogger is the crazy battery life of a gopro it's just basically non-existent the battery dies within 20 minutes if you're not being sheltered by the windscreen that thing is just dead if i do like mountain biking dead if i ride the crf and i'm getting bombarded the battery just it has no charge whatsoever it is chilly and there's no other motorcycles on the road i kind of miss that i do miss those brisk winters where i can go out for a ride and not see any riders yeah i do miss seeing some riders i don't know but it is like 30 something degrees it feels colder because it's windy and that's another super big benefit of the maxi scooter it has lots of wind protection it is amazing and of course i got heated grips on this bad boy so i can well at least my hands are nice and warm while i'm riding everything else is cold yeah check out angry d on youtube that guy's fascinating creature always angry I wonder why he's so angry. I guess commuting does that to you. But yeah, that's my goal. Team up with some YouTube channels and hopefully grow both our channels. You know, I'm always willing to help people out. <laughs> I find it so hard to believe that Angry D doesn't have that many followers. Because that guy should have 200,000. Because it's only a matter of time before you're going to see a video of him like running into a car. All right, this is the town in Maryland, Montgomery County that's got the cheapest gas. 325 and 323. I'm going to go right for the 323 and it's completely packed. Look at this. This is crazy. Crazy, guys. Look at that. Goldwing. That's pretty, pretty nice. That's the GL1000. The original Goldwing. That is hardcore. It's so funny with GoPro. You hit 
the record button and there's a delay the colder it gets the more of a delay it takes to start recording and another delay to end recording it is cold other than that goldwing guy i don't know if we're going to run into other motorcycles you got to watch out for the black ice around here and make sure you don't have your sun visor on or sunglasses because that often hides it a little bit I don't know if it's frozen but the problem is it just takes a little bit and then you're off into a guardrail somewhere luckily there was not any rain so that keeps ice from the road but you also don't have the same amount of traction as you would have in the summer so you can't really ride as aggressively but this bike it's very difficult to kind of like spin your tires it's really not a fast bike final stand union troops held the confederates at bay for most of the day around 4 30 p.m the Union front collapsed and fell back to the Georgetown Pike where they used Britta, blah 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 we, The battle was lost and the Union army retreated. Oh, so the Confederates kind of won here. Oh, <laughs> I love doing that. <laughs> That's so much better than just reading. <laughs> kind of wet here. Service vehicles only. <laughs> It doesn't feel great, but it's very pretty. Look at that. This, these maxi scooters are incredible for for comfort in the winter. Because I'm being so sheltered, and I'm just running parallel right next to I-270. But yeah, terrible, terrible on the gravel. This thing is not exactly comfortable it's just the suspension is just weird I think it's because of the long wheelbase on this thing it makes it behave very unmotorcycle like oh, look at that it's completely packed full of cars people come here and like do trails I think there's some trails around here they can walk around you know, one of the things that I'm excited about is the new Toyota Prius. Have you guys seen this thing? I am quite interested in the Prius because I own one and it's been such a great car. It does everything I want. You know, it would be nice if they made some sort of like Prius pickup truck with... I'm going to pull over here and wait for this guy on the minivan. Come on! Come on. Oh, God. Look at him. See you, buddy. Why do criminals always pick criminal cars, you know, like the Impalas and they pick like the ex-cop cars and all of this stuff that kind of makes you stand out? But if you were to pick a Prius, you would just sneak up on people, you know, just it's a hybrid. It's very quiet. Man, I can't believe I've never been here. <clears throat> Whoa, look at another corner. And another. I haven't, I really should come here more often. Beautiful, beautiful road. Emperor's State Park. This is a course where the very popular Frederick Watershed is. A lot of mountain bikers come here and some illegal dirt bike activity. But this area is kind of pretty because it's very isolated. You see there's like a lot of hiking. I don't know why anybody would want to hike, but there you go. So people come here and it's really good for cycling because there's plenty of hills. This is always fun to do. But yeah, in the winter, you don't see a lot of people unless you really love torturing yourself. My phone has just died. And I hadn't even had it on this entire ride, but 
the battery the lithium batteries on on phones die that's another thing they have to be cautious is because when you buy an electric car those batteries are also have that same sort of effect their range is greatly diminished Fox Road but there's a hot air balloon over there look at this look at that guy he's got like the chain whips and everything pretty interesting low battery even though it's plugged in that's how crazy cold it's gotten that the battery inside your phone is unable to hold the charge anymore man as soon as the sun starts dis to disappear from the sky it gets so cold i am just getting so cold and not to mention the amount of shrinkage oh freaking sun all right guys i'm almost home it is absolutely freezing i'm glad i got off the highway though because going at 70 miles an hour you just get much colder subscribe to angry d's channel this guy is putting a lot of work into his channel and i just want him to grow so all right guys i really appreciate you guys watching i will see you in the next video bye just when i think you couldn't possibly be any dumber you go and do something like this and totally redeem yourself <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!